Eason brings him up. First and ten. Takes the pitch. This is coming. Let's it go wide open. At the 15, to the 10, to the 5, fumble out of bounds. Brewster, however, who made the catch, will give Illinois a first and goal because he was the last to touch it. Tim Brewster, the tight end. You can see the influence of uh, Justin there. He bit on the fake, and uh, that allowed the tight end, Brewster, to get into the scene, and uh, Easton got the ball to him in good shape. But takes a lot of time, a, a, a lot of time, and you're going to see a lot of de de delay penalty. So that's the reason. Easton, Williams, touchdown, Illinois. Oliver Williams, a senior out of Inglewood, California. And they're doing some dancing in the end zone. Well, the third time is the charm, one would say. Uh, Easton this time, this is the same type of play that twice today he's thrown and almost had interception, intercepted. But this time he lays it right on the money to uh, Oliver, Oliver Williams, number 17 there for the touchdown. You no know, controversy about that right. one. Right. Uh, I think it's only fair to point out that Illinois, after that last Wisconsin touchdown, they could have just simply folded up and, uh, and forgot about this particular game. But they didn't. They showed me a lot of character because they got the kickoff and they came all the way down to score this touchdown. They will probably keep it on the ground here. Double tight end set. Murphy and Mitchell Brookins are the running backs. It's Brookins up over the top. He did not get in. throw good blocking he wants a punch goes into double coverage picked off intercepted Greg Swope a freshman out of Florida has his fifth interception of the year and watch out he's got great speed and he'll save some of it <laughs> I think he goes in the slot to the right side look at that catch Oliver Williams first down Let's take a look at the interception run back by a tired, pooped Greg Swope. Yeah, he's going to try. I want to tell you, it's kind of funny, only because you, you think of, uh, of athletes as great conditioned people, but uh, he just, you know, it's late in the game, and he ran out of air here. You can see he's just huffing and puffing. He gets me to the sideline because I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want any more. First down, 10, Illinois. They trail by five. Anticipate the throw of the quarterback. Second and 10. Open is Brewster to the 20, to the 19. There's a fumble, but it happened after this uh, ball was down. Richard Johnson made the tackle, but Brewster was all by his lonesome at about the 30-yard line. Easton changing again. Mike White looking on. Quick pop into the flat. Caught. Mike Martin at the 10-yard line. It's third and one. One running back again. Two tight ends and two wide receivers. 20 to 15 with 10:30 to go in the game. Quarterback sneak, I don't know, he might have gotten with the second ever. You make up your own mind. First and goal, touchdown, Illinois, no flag. Joe Curtis, a senior out of Chicago. There are a few Illini here who have made the trip up from Champaign-Urbana. And for the first time today, into uh, the, the defense of uh, Wisconsin, and it was a simple touchdown for Joe Curtis. They go backwards as well as they do forwards. <laughs> Ten minutes to go. Now let's see if Illinois is going to go for three. I, or, or two. They can't go for three on the extra point. They can change the rules on us there, huh? <laughs> Wayne Duke, the commissioner of the Big Ten, is going to set Bolt upright downstairs. Hey, wait a minute. I can't do that. They say you got to scoop them. They can go for two. <laughs> they will go for two. They lead by one. Easton to Williams. Flag. He got the catch. It's good. That is the same play they tried on the last two 
before the tip. Yeah, they've tried that play several times. Right street play. Right side to Troy King. Oh, and if he'd broken that one tackle, it might have gone for a bunch. And everybody from Illinois will be coming on this one. Maximum blitz. Right in trouble. Caught. Dropped. Clinton Hayes from Gardena, California, was the first to say hello. Got a surge going. This is one yard run on the two point play. Eason across the middle, caught. White Beverly to the 32 yard line. The running back coming from a slot on the right side. A huge gain for the Illini. Illinois, 4.50 to go in the game. Up the middle, they drive the trap and got about six. Richard Riles makes the carry and Kyle Borland, number 32, with the tackle. Borland. You're going to see a quick six points. Third and five. Change at the line. Flips threatens, and it's coming. Easton in trouble. Flips it out incomplete. A one hopper. Three out of four today. This will be a 44 yarder. Hooked it a little bit, but not enough so that it's not good. You think he's not happy? Four out of five for Mike Bass. Third and ten instead of a first and ten. Watch Illinois come. White goes into single coverage. It's up for grabs. Who got it? Illinois. Charles Armstead, number 43. His third interception of the season. Three wide receiver offense. No, up the middle, and he's not there. Riles does not pick up the first down. Chris Sigourney is back to kick. There's a look at number 15, Brian Marlowe. A 10-man front for Wisconsin. See if they're coming. They are indeed, and they're going to take the safety. It's a smart play. They run it all the way out of the end zone. Sigourney takes the safety. Very, very smart play. Absolutely. But it would have been even smarter had they tried to get the first down with the pass on the third down play. That's where I think they made the mistake. All right, coach. 26-22. Never know what might happen, and I think that's what they're thinking. Second down, 10. Ball at the 40. Right, quick drop. One hopper. It's the oh my play. There's a man open. They've got it at the 10. Jeff Nolf, touchdown. Johnson leads with 52 seconds remaining. Bad snap. Pitcher's up. Gets the upright. No good. A field goal will win it for Tony Easton in Illinois. Time. Oh, oh, okay, the quarterback throws it out to Toon on the ground. He bounces it to him. And the reason for that is you want to suck the defense in because you think that it's an incomplete pass. And the secondary comes up. And uh, that particular time, Jeff no went deep. They got the ball to him. Just a tremendous play. A tremendous football game and a tremendous call.